Yeah, so recently there was a very strong interest both in the public and also in the academic debate about the labor market consequences of globalization uh, and especially in the consequences of the dramatic rise of China and the world economy uh, for manufacturing workers in the United States. So uh, in our research we focus on Germany because we wanted to see if this pattern that the rising Chinese import penetration had negative wage and employment effects for manufacturing workers if that uh, is generally true for uh, all rich traditional Western market economies. So what we find uh, basically are some uh, interesting similarities between Germany and the United States, but also some notable differences in how the German and the American labor market uh, reacted to this so-called China shock. So first of all, um, the similarities is that um, if you are a worker who is initially employed uh, in an import competing sector where China developed a strong comparative advantage, so I'm thinking for example of the textile industry, those workers really uh, have suffered from severe labor market consequences, so a higher unemployment risk and lower wages, and that was particularly focused on special regions in Germany. But then on the other hand, the major difference is that in the German case, uh, there were also many workers who benefited from this rise of China, uh, because they were employed in export-oriented industries who really managed to um, take advantage of these new emerging markets in China and Eastern Europe. Um, those workers have seen ra rising wages, lower unemployment risk. Um, in the aggregate, we conclude that uh, those positive effects uh, dominate in the case of Germany. But still, even though there was a net gain uh, for Germany in terms of manufacturing employment and earnings, uh, it is still the case that many people um, had really severe losses on the labor market. And uh, I think as economists, we should really focus also on these um, losers from globalization and should really um, design fair and efficient policies to help especially those, those workers on the labor market.